Today on Celebrities as Heritage, we take a trip down memory lane to revisit the cast of the action drama television series Baywatch. This iconic show, which captured the hearts of viewers with its thrilling rescues and stunning beach scenes, featured a talented ensemble of actors who became household names. We will explore the careers of these actors, looking back at their memorable performances on Baywatch and examining their professional journeys since the show ended. Additionally, we'll provide updates on their most recent roles and current projects, giving fans a comprehensive look at where these beloved stars are now. Alexandra Paul played the character Stephanie Holden in the hit television series Baywatch in 1992. At that time, Paul was 29 years old. She was born on July 29, 1963, and is currently 60 years old. In addition to her role on Baywatch, Alexandra Paul has built a diverse career as an actress, model, writer, producer, activist, and health coach. Her most recent film role was in the 2023 comedy drama Baby Steps, where she portrayed the character Abigail Munoz. Over the years, Paul has continued to captivate audiences with her multifaceted talents and dedication to various causes. Michael Bergen portrayed J.D. Darius in the popular television series Baywatch in 1997. At that time, Bergen was 28 years old. Born on March 18, 1969, he is now 54 years old. In addition to his acting career, Bergen has also made a name for himself as a producer and former model. His most recent film role was in the 2021 TV thriller The Wrong Valentine, where he played the character Frank. Beyond his work in entertainment, Bergen is also a successful real estate agent based in Beverly Hills. His diverse career showcases his versatility and adaptability in various professional fields. David Chokachi portrayed Cody Madison in the iconic television series Baywatch starting in 1995. At that time, Chokachi was 27 years old. He was born on January 16, 1968, and is currently 56 years old. Over the years, Chokachi has built a successful career as both an actor and producer. His most recent film role was in the 2022 post-apocalyptic western adventure Trailblazers, where he played a significant part. Chokachi continues to be active in the entertainment industry, demonstrating his enduring talent and versatility. Carmen Electra portrayed Lonnie McKenzie in the television series Baywatch starting in 1997. At that time, Electra was 25 years old. She was born on April 20, 1972, and is currently 51 years old. Over the years, Electra has earned acclaim as an award-winning actress, producer, model, singer, writer, and media personality. Her most recent role was in the 2023 comedy film Good Burger 2, where she played the character Roxanne. Electra's multifaceted career highlights her diverse talents and enduring appeal in the entertainment industry. David Charvet portrayed Matt Brody in the television series Baywatch beginning in 1992. At that time, Charvet was 20 years old. He was born on May 15, 1972, and is currently 51 years old. Charvet has enjoyed a multifaceted career as an actor, singer, and model. His most recent film appearance was in the 2013 adventure horror movie Prisoners of the Sun, where he played the character Doug Adler. Throughout his career, 
Charvin has demonstrated his versatility and talent across various entertainment fields. Gino Lee Nolan portrayed Neely Capshaw in the television series Baywatch in 1995. At that time, Nolan was 23 years old. She was born on November 29, 1971, and is currently 52 years old. Nolan has established herself as an actress, model, and author. Her most recent screen appearance was in the 2017 comedy film Killing Hasselhoff, where she portrayed a fictionalized version of herself. Throughout her career, Nolan has demonstrated her versatility and creative talents across various mediums. In 1991, Kelly Packard took on the role of April Gaminski. A mere 16 years old at the time, Packard showcased her budding talent. Born on January 29, 1975, she has since matured into a seasoned actress and television personality, earning recognition for her contributions to the entertainment industry. Notably, her versatility shines through in her portrayal of various characters. In the 2018 crime thriller TV movie Family Vanished, Packard captivated audiences with her performance as Lisa Stiles, adding depth and nuance to the character. Despite her extensive experience, Packard continues to approach each role with dedication and finesse, cementing her status as a respected figure in the realm of film and television. In 1989, Gregory J. Barnett embodied the character of Jim Barnett. At 40 years old during the production, Barnett demonstrated his seasoned skills. Born on April 17, 1949, he now stands at 74 years of age, boasting a rich and varied career. Barnett's name resonates in the industry as an award-winning stuntman, stunt coordinator, and assistant director. His expertise has left an indelible mark, contributing to the success of numerous productions. Currently, Barnett remains actively involved in the entertainment world, with his most recent role as a stuntman and coordinator in the mystery sci-fi TV series Quantum Leap. His dedication and talent continue to shine, making him a respected figure in the realm of action and adventure. In 1994, Jason Simmons assumed the role of Logan Fair. At the age of 24 during the production, Simmons displayed his burgeoning talent. Born on July 12, 1970, he now stands at 53 years old with a wealth of experience in the entertainment industry. Simmons is primarily recognized as an actor with a diverse portfolio of roles under his belt. His most recent appearance was in a 2016 episode of the apocalyptic comedy TV series Eft, where he portrayed the character Hot Rod. Despite his extensive career, Simmons continues to bring energy and depth to his performances, solidifying his status as a versatile and enduring presence in television. In 1996, Jose Solano brought Manny Goos to life on screen. At the age of 25 during the production, Solano showcased his talent and versatility. Born on February 22, 1971, he is now 52 years old. Solano is known for his contributions as both an actor and production manager in the entertainment industry. While primarily recognized for his behind-the-scenes work, Solano has also made appearances on screen. 
His most recent on-screen role was in the 2017 action movie Godspeed, where he portrayed an unnamed character. Despite his diverse roles, Solano's dedication to his craft shines through, making him a respected figure in both acting and production. In 1998, Brooke Burns stepped into the shoes of Jesse Owens. At just 20 years old during the production, Burns displayed her budding talent. Born on March 16, 1978, she has since become a prominent figure in various realms of entertainment. Burns is renowned as a model, game show host, actress, and television personality, showcasing her versatility and adaptability. Her most recent role was in the 2020 crime drama TV movie Gourmet Detective, Rue the Day, where she portrayed the character Maggie. Despite her multifaceted career, Burns continues to captivate audiences with her charm and skill, solidifying her status as a respected and beloved figure in the industry. In 1989, Billy Warlock embodied the character of Eddie Kramer. At the age of 28 during the production, Warlock demonstrated his talent and charisma. Born on March 26, 1961, he is now 62 years old, boasting a rich and varied career. Warlock is recognized as an actor of both stage and screen, with a plethora of memorable performances to his name. His last on-screen role was in 2010, where he appeared in 18 episodes of the romantic drama TV series One Life to Live, portraying the character Ross Raburn. Despite the passage of time, Warlock's dedication to his craft remains unwavering, cementing his status as a respected figure in the world of entertainment. In 1989, Erica Aliak took on the role of Shani Milan. At the tender age of 19 during the production, Aliak showcased her early talent. Born on September 29, 1969, she now stands at 54 years old. Aliak is recognized as both an actress and a model, her charm and versatility evident in her performances. Her most recent appearance was in a 2023 episode of the British mockumentary TV series Meet the Richardsons, where she portrayed a cameo role. Despite the years, Aliak continues to grace the screen with her presence, leaving a lasting impression with each role she undertakes. In 1992, Jason Brooks assumed the role of Sean Monroe. At 26 years old during the production, Brooks showcased his talent and charisma. Born on May 10, 1966, he now stands at 57 years old. Brooks is recognized for his contributions as both an actor and a producer in the entertainment industry. His versatility and dedication have led to a successful career with memorable performances in various projects. His most recent film role was in the 2023 thriller Murder at the Murder Mystery Party, where he portrayed the character Davis Forum. Despite the passage of time, Brooks continues to captivate audiences with his skillful performances, solidifying his status as a respected figure in film. Please remember to give the video a like and let us know your answer to the question at the end. In 1992, Nicole Eggert portrayed the iconic character Summer Quinn. At the youthful age of 20 during the production, Eggert showcased her talent and charm. Born on January 13, 1972, she now stands at 52 years old. Eggert is celebrated as an award-winning actress with a diverse range of roles throughout her career. Her most recent role was a voice role in a 2019 episode of the animated TV series Robot Chicken, where she lent her voice to characters Marin Ravenwood and Ilsa Hopstein. 
Despite the years, Eggert's skill and versatility continue to impress audiences, solidifying her status as a respected figure in the entertainment industry. In 1999, Jason Momoa took on the role of Jason Johan. At the age of 19 during the production, Momoa showcased his early talent and charisma. Born on August 1, 1979, he now stands at 44 years old. Momoa is celebrated as an award-winning actor, producer, and writer with a diverse range of talents and accomplishments. His most recent role was in the 2023 action-adventure film Aquaman in The Lost Kingdom, where he portrayed the lead role of Arthur. Despite the passage of time, Momoa continues to captivate audiences with his powerful performances and commanding presence, solidifying his status as a respected figure in the entertainment industry. In 1999, Stacey Kamano portrayed Kakoa Tanaka. At the age of 24 during the production, Kamano demonstrated her talent and charm. Born on September 17, 1974, she is now 49 years old. Kamano is recognized as both an actress and a model, her versatility evident in her performances. However, her last television appearance was in a 2007 episode of the television series The Bold and the Beautiful, where she played the character of a secretary. Despite her absence from the screen in recent years, Kamano's previous work continues to resonate with audiences, showcasing her enduring impact in the entertainment industry. In 1996, Molly Donna Derrico took on the role of Donna Marco at the age of 28. Born on March 30th, 1968, she has since reached 55 years of age. Dero is a versatile talent, known for her work as an actress, model, director, and producer. Her latest cinematic endeavor was in the 2022 horror thriller Frank and Penelope, portraying the character Mabel. Donna's diverse talent has captivated audiences worldwide, solidifying her position as a versatile artist. From her early days in the entertainment industry to her current status as a seasoned veteran, she continues to leave an indelible mark in the world of cinema and entertainment, drawing audiences with her skill and flexibility. In 1996, at the age of 28, Tracy Bingham embraced the character of Jordan Tate. Born on January 13, 1968, she now stands at 56 years old. Bingham, known for her diverse skills, has flourished in various domains including acting, modeling, and television hosting. However, it was her role as Lindsay in the well-received romantic comedy Short East of Hollywood in 2015 that garnered significant attention and acclaim. Monty Markham took on the persona of Captain D. Thor back in 1989, when he was 54 years old. Born on June 21, 1935, he currently stands at 88. Markham is a multifaceted artist, excelling in acting, producing, and directing for both stage and screen. His latest contribution graced the screen in the 2023 drama film Silent Life, where he embodied the character of Dr. Mercer. Thank you for watching our video on the Celebrities' Heritage channel. If you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends.
Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Your support means the world to us. Stay tuned for more exciting videos, and we'll see you next time.